The Cydonia Institute, a group of researchers that investigate strange formations on the surface of Mars, publishes a study analyzing satellite photographs taken of the planet. The images show what the researchers claim look like four and five-sided pyramids and a series of curious mounds. The whole idea for the Sidoni Institute started when NASA announced in 1991 that they were going to return to Mars with the Mars Observer. And over the last 30-some years of our group studying NASA photographs, we have found an enormous amount of evidence that led us to believe there are artificial structures on Mars. What we're trying to do is get a preponderance of evidence together so that we can prove the point that there's ruins all over the planet. And just as you would here on Earth, you're going to look for straight lines, parallel lines, circles, squares, rectangles, things of this nature. And when you find them, then you can start to zoom in on areas and look for even uh, stronger details. When the Perseverance landed, one of the first things that I noticed was a conical pyramid in the distance. The camera there took a beautiful couple pictures of it. It doesn't make any sense to me geologically how that could happen. That was one of the biggest anomalies that was seen. We're still going to get better and better pictures. We're going to have more to look at as NASA releases all of these images from Perseverance, but we haven't gotten there yet because the Perseverance, they landed in the middle of Big Lake. And I think the only thing we're gonna find there is probably shells, things from an aquatic environment. I think all of the ruins that people are looking for, they're gonna be found once they drive a little further in the perimeter. Cities and ruins of the surface of Mars? Could the remnants of an ancient Martian civilization have really been hiding in plain sight? It's a question that researchers have pondered for more than four decades. Ever since NASA sent the first satellites into orbit around the Red Planet. Mars has piqued the curiosity of scientists and the public for millennia. But it really wasn't until the dawn of the space age that we started getting an idea of what the planet was really all about. Mariner 4 in 1965 flies past the planet, sends back 22 fuzzy photographs, and Mars looks just like the moon. Then we sent two spacecraft, Viking 1 and Viking 2, in 1976. So we got tens of thousands of photographs and more. Since then, as we get better resolution photographs from the surface of Mars, people have thought they saw all kinds of things there. There is a not insignificant group of people that think that we've already discovered life on Mars, that there are structures there, that there are buildings, obelisks, some kind of indicator of ancient cultures that is being covered up. You look at images of this and people are spotting all sorts of strange shapes and pyramids, structures of some kind on the Martian surface. Is it something left by a lost civilization as maybe a, a monument to themselves and their achievement? For some, the most compelling evidence that an ancient civilization once existed on Mars can be found in a photograph, which shows what appears to be a large structure that has come to be known as the face on Mars. In Viking lander photographs, it was discovered that there was this weird looking structure that looks for all the world in the Viking photos like a face. Everything is proportional. If the face is a mile and a half, two miles long, the eyes are a quarter mile, the nose about a half a mile. So it's not small structure, it's very large structure. I believe that the face on Mars was created from uh, possibly an existing mesa. It's not just a face, but on top of that, people saw what they called the DNM pyramid, which is this weird five-sided structure that looks like a five-sided pyramid. People were claiming this had to be artificial structures. 
The DNM pyramid is a five-sided structure. The five faces have all this very symmetrical geometry of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. It's just a remarkable, out-of-place artifact on the surface of Mars. What researchers looking at this found is that because of its exquisite geometry, there's no way that this could be created naturally. Decades after the famous photograph was taken, the face on Mars continues to inspire both fascination and debate. Many researchers believe it and other curious formations on the Red Planet merit further study and discussion. Some of this may just be a trick of the light, funny shaped rocks, that sort of thing. But only one of these things has got to be the real deal. And we're in game changing territory. Was there once an advanced civilization on Mars? Some of the features on the planet's surface definitely make you wonder. Sedonia Institute researcher George Haas is combing through images of Mars when something catches his eye. A large formation protruding from the surface of the planet that displays extraordinary symmetry. He is struck by the fact that there are no other large geographical features around it. And it has the distinct shape of a keyhole. When you initially look at it, it looks like something that someone made. So when scientists are looking for signs of activity on another planet, they're looking for structural symmetry, determining if this is possibly just something nature made or something that humans or extraterrestrials had a hand in. What we're seeing on Mars could be evidence of intelligent design by some unknown extraterrestrial culture. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took amazing detailed maps of pretty much the whole surface of Mars. And there are some anomalous pictures. It's very much worth humanity's while to travel there and find out for sure, are these artificial or not? Could it be? that this strangely symmetrical formation on Mars is really an artificial structure built by an extraterrestrial race. For ancient astronaut theorists, what makes this image even more intriguing is the fact that strikingly similar man-made structures exist here on Earth. Osaka, Japan. Today, this bustling metropolis is famous as one of Japan's cultural centers of food, fashion, and finance. But in its southern suburb of Sakai lies an ancient and mysterious monument, a megalithic tomb called Daisen Kofun. It rises up 35 feet above the surrounding area and is 1,600 feet long and 980 feet wide. And it's encircled by three moats, making the entire edifice cover a space of 5 million square feet. You can only really appreciate what it represents by going up into the air and looking down on it, because you then see that it's an enormous keyhole shape. The Dyson Kofun is merely the largest of more than 160,000 kofuns that dot Japan. There are hundreds of these tombs built between around 300 AD to around 600 AD all over Japan. So what were these? Were these really just tombs built for emperors and kings, or were they something else altogether? The keyhole shape can only be seen from the air. And we're told that the ancient Japanese did not have a means of getting into the sky to appreciate this shape. So there's a great mystery here about why the keyhole shape. Some researchers suggest that the purpose of the keyhole shape can be traced back to the first Kofun ever built. The first of these tombs is associated with the first historical Japanese emperor, Emperor Sujin, in whose record in the book of ancient mythology, the Kojiki, a keyhole of a door actually also plays an important part. According to the story in the Kojiki, a young woman becomes impregnated by a powerful god who comes to a room through a keyhole, then gives birth to semi-divine children. 
Another story from the same texts tells that the Japanese royal family are all descendants of Amaterasu, who came from the celestial plane. So what's the deal here? Why do we have these stories of someone coming from the sky? They also describe them as having come down from their celestial palace, which is called Takamagahara. It's right there. Our ancestors did not have words for extraterrestrials or aliens or any other creature coming from another planet because it didn't exist at the time. So you've got to wonder if these keyhole-shaped Kofa aren't something that were actually designed by extraterrestrials. There's something about that shape. It has meaning. Are these sites signaling somebody who is apparently in the sky?